Well, I want to thank you for buying a uh, Birch Grove Furnishings product. And today I'm going to show you how to put together your Adirondack chair that you've ordered through the mail. When this arrives, you're going to have two boxes that these are going to be, that these parts are going to be in. You want to make sure that when the box arrives, you look the box over before you sign for your product. If there's any damage to the boxes, then you want to make sure and open them up and make sure there's no damage to your furniture before you let the shipper go, before you sign that off. If you have anything that there is any damage or damage to the boxes, then make a note on the receiving slip that you're giving to the shipper that there was some damage to the box. Therefore, you've documented it so that we can replace these parts for you and the shipper would be liable for it, not us, and not you. So, having said that, this is what you're going to be taking out of your boxes here for your Adirondack chairs. You'll have a back piece, a seat piece, two armrests assemblies and legs, and your signature board. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is to take and put your seat piece here. But one other thing I wanted to point out too, of course, you're going to get a bag that's going to have all of the fasteners that you're going to need in that bag. It's recommended that you take those things out, count how many pieces of each item that you have to make sure that it squares up with what we're expected that we're sending with you so that you have what you need. And I would suggest putting them in some kind of container so they don't run off the table or disappear on you. I've learned that over the years. You also get a couple of T a Torx drive or star drive bits that you're going to need that will be enclosed in there. I'd also recommend a cordless drill. Okay, it's recommended to have a cordless drill. If you don't own one, you can use a screwdriver in which these bits will fit into. But um, it's going to be much easier to do with this drill. All right, so we have our seat piece here. If you can notice, there's going to be, there's going to be holes here that are already drilled, pre-drilled for screws or for the bolts that are going to be required to put this together. You're going to take your back piece. and slide it in there. Now, it's also recommended that you have a rubber mallet of some kind so that you can not damage your furniture as you put your furniture together. So take your quarter inch carriage bolts, you take your washer and your nut off, put it back in your container so you don't lose it. Your holes, the, your furniture will have already been assembled in the factory. Then it gets taken back apart and put in the boxes. So the holes and everything will line up. Your chair has already been put together, just to let you know that. So if you can't get those bolts in there, you don't have the holes lined up. Okay, as you can see, your bolts are here. Turn your chair around. Now these are manufactured with the exact right size holes drilled here, so don't, don't drill any other holes or your furniture won't go together very well. Now another crucial thing is you'll notice there's a screw back here, a screw hole back here. This capes and holds this thing together. So you're going to have two different size screws that come, which you will have seen here that there's an inch and three quarters and there's a two inch. Your two inch screws go here and go into the longer pieces of wood. When you come to putting things together here, when you've got two pieces of wood here, you're going to want an inch and three quarter inch screw, which has been enclosed, so it doesn't come out the other side. 
two inch screws, take a T25 driver. Now, it's important, you've already put your bolts in here, this lines this piece up to where it belongs. This wants to be a tight fit, you want this to be a tight fit. So we've got this in here to get it into place, and this screw will tighten it up. Put pressure against it. Don't over tighten so it strips the screw out. And I would recommend that actually when you get your stuff you separate it apart so that you know which is two inch. You might want to have a couple of containers. You don't want to get your two inch and your inch or three quarter screws uh, screwed up as it were or confused. That can cause a problem for you later. And I would recommend not over tightening especially on any other surfaces so the water sits in there. So you want to get it so it's somewhat flush. And you want to have a great big deep hole so don't over tighten it. Now you may notice that the screws, there are screws on this side one side of the chair but if you go to this side of the chair there aren't any screw holes that has to do with the manufacturing process and the jigs that we use to put this together so you will find screw holes on one side then you will have to go to the inside inside here to get your other screws in. It's recommended that uh, you have some kind of a clamp. This is a bar clamp that you can get at any home improvement store. And uh, you may want to take and put some pieces of wood on each side of this and clamp it together that way then you can ensure that when you put your screws in they're tight that's up to you but that is that's the best way to do this you cannot tighten your screws down all the way and tighten your bolts together first but you want to make sure that all your line your holes are lined up so that your screws are going in the holes that were already drilled during manufacturing. Okay, so we've got our screws in here. We've got our screws in here. We have our bolts in here. We're going to take and tighten our bolts up. You're going to need a uh, 7 16 wrench of some kind or socket in order to take and tighten your bolts up. Take. Take the chair over here. As you can see, I've got a socket wrench. And you want to snug these down, but you don't want to over tighten. I would put your thumb on the other side so that you can tell if your bolt is spinning. That's as far as we can go. You kind of get a feel. You do want to get it as tight as you can without that head, bolt head spinning in the hole. Because that's the structural part, the strength of your, um, of your furniture. You can see down here the head is sticking out. And that's a good thing because then you want it to sink in. You can watch that just sink in there. I've got my finger on there. Make sure it isn't spinning. And if you go slow, it won't spin on you as quickly as if you're going too fast. Now it starts to spin, so I stop.
Okay. So now you've got your seat assembly together. Now I'm putting the armrests and the legs on. You may have to loosen this up a little bit, just a little bit to adjust it so everything will line up. But we'll see how that goes here. Now if you'll also note, on the chair, this says right. This is an R for the right side of the chair. When you take your arm and leg assembly, you want to make sure that there's an R on that side. If you don't have the right one, it's going to be obvious pretty quickly, I would think. But anyway. Now the holes in here are pre-drilled, and there's holes pre-drilled if you've seen it before there. And carriage bolts. Putting your washers and your nuts back in your container. Start your carriage bolts in here so that you can feel them. And take and put your bolts out, find your holes. Shouldn't have to beat hard on that, the holes already lined up. Now on the back side of the chair, is where the screw holes are and there will be screw holes that are correspond in here that line up as well. So take, put your screw in. Now these are going to be inch and three inch and three quarter screws here which will then I'm going to switch over to the the T20 driver. Your inch and three quarter screws will t use a T20. Your two inch screws are going to use a T25. You can use the T20 on both screws, but you're going to be likely to strip out your two inch screws if you put a T20 on there. It'll work, but if you tighten it down too tight, you might strip them out. You want to go slow. Now I can see, I keep going, this is reaching up, so I haven't hit my hole yet. So I've picked this up and made sure I'm on my hole. I'm going to back this screw out because I know we're lined up now. Then you want to maybe take your block and squeeze this just a little bit with a clamp to hold it in place so it doesn't move on you and you know you've got a tight joint. Now that screw is in place. Take my other inch and three quarter inch screw, put it in the other hole. Now I felt this move, so you want to take it easy on these because there's only one hole in there. So you make sure your holes are lined up. So those are tight now. Put your other inch and three quarter screws in. Once you've got your screws lined up, you can actually stop and take and tighten your bolts. So that these are these are clamping at this together so that you've got a tight joint. Once you've tightened your bolts down, then you can take and put your screws down a little tighter too. That way, everything is lined up. 
and you've got a nice tight joint. And then if you notice, here, these are sunk in a little bit, and that's a good thing. You want that to kind of, because you know you've got a tight joint with that. Now again, you can see this is L. Once you've got the one on, you know you've got the other one. And I like to leave these loose until I get the back of my armrest done so then know this is all placed. Because if you tighten this all down, if your armrest isn't quite loose, tightened up or lined up, then you'll have to loosen that up again in order to line it up. All right. Now, we have our basic chair put together. Take and tighten up these bolts over here. All right, our basic chair is put together, except for one thing. I gotta put these screws in here. I almost put a two inch screw in there, which would have come out the other side. So you gotta pay attention to that and make sure you don't put a two inch screw because it'll come out the other side of there. All right, now. The last piece that goes onto your chair is our front signature board. This is probably the most crucial part you're ever gonna have on this chair. It tells you whose it is. It denotes quality. Now, if you notice, the logo only goes one way. There's nothing on the other side. So taken, this is A up and B. You'll notice there's A written here and B written over there. Now we've gotten our chair nice and tight together and this is a very snug fit and that's what we want. This helps to stabilize your chair and gives it more strength and integrity. If you tap it into the right place, your holes are gonna line up. This is where the two inch screws come in. Now I went ahead and used a T20 because I wasn't tightening it down too far anyway. But, We'll go ahead and switch over to the T25, just to make sure. The reason why I'm going slow is to make sure that my screws have lined up in the holes. You've got end grain on this piece here, and it'd be very easy not to get your screws in the right place. They'd go right into the end grain even though there wasn't a hole there. So if you go slow, you can tell that the screw's going into the right hole and you'll feel it move up and down a little bit if you've got it in the right place. If it starts to push away from it at all or you feel more resistance, then you want to realign your thing and make sure that you're lined up. And there you have it. You have your Adirondack chair ready to be enjoyed. Now you may notice something odd about this chair, this particular one. There's a cup holder over there. There's no cup holder over here. All of your Birch Grove chairs will come with two cup holders right or left. In this case, this particular chair, if you'll notice some holes in here, this is going to be what's called a tete-a-tete, -tete, which has two chairs put together 
with a table attached to them together. So that's what this one is. But most, but all your Adirondack chairs, if you're buying indi individual chairs, they're going to have two cup holders, one on each side. So, just to review, make sure your t bolts are tight. All your bolts, this is where your strength comes from when you sit down in this chair so that you've got the strength, the joint is nice and tight. So nothing moves around and loosens up on you. You're going to be responsible for putting your chair back together and put it together tightly so it doesn't come apart. If you don't clamp it, if you don't make sure the joints are tight, you can see here you've got a nice tight joint. And your chair is going to move around, which is going to loosen up some of the screws, loosen up the bolts. And it's going to start coming apart on you. And we're not going to warranty that if you don't put it together right. So, there you have it. Enjoy your Adirondack Birch Grove chair. And thank you.